said that, is there a hadith that talks about that the Prophet ﷺ used to sleep or uh, lie down after praying the Sunnah of Fajr? Yes, of course. Al-Imam al-Bukhari collected in his sound sees a hadith which is narrated by the mother of the believers, Aisha radiallahu anha, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to pray the sunnah of fajr after the, the mu'adhin, soon after the mu'adhin would finish the adhan because he would call the adhan on time. Then after praying the sunnah, he would idhaja'a ala shiqqihi al-ayman or yadhaja'a, which means he used to recline or lie down on his right hand side. This dhaja'a or this reclining is not a complete sleep or otherwise it would require him to make wudu because if a person falls in a deep sleep whether he broke wind or void his wudu or not they must make wudu because deep sleep automatically voids the wudu but the Prophet ﷺ would rest also it has been narrated by, collected by Imam Muslim in another hadith the ulama concluded from that that those who prayed the sunnah at home are recommended to recline for a few moments after the sunnah and until you hear the iqamah or until you pray in, in the masjid. But what is the purpose and what is the cause, the effective cause? Why the Prophet ﷺ used to do this dhuja? He used to do that because he used to rest from a long night's sleep. So knowing the effective cause would give you uh, an explanation of why should you do it. But if the person was not in need to rest or recline, that's it. Also, we should not do that in the masjid where you enter the masjid after the adhan. And people just woke up and you see people pray the sunnah and everybody is uh, reclining or lying down. It is a short rest after a long night of prayer, after praying the sunnah with the condition that the person is fully alert, not asleep. Barakallah feek. Uh, as far as uh, money exchange it is permissible with conditions it is permissible to do the currency exchange for whatever price you guys agree to ijab and kabul both the seller and the buyer with the following conditions number one yadan biyad in the same sitting yadan biyad which means since this is money and this is money it should be exchanged in the same sitting you take the dinar and you give me the dollar or the real and the dollar and in the same sitting because the delay that is the type of riba which is known as riba and nasa there is a delay okay um, uh, did Allah create Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa before Adam there is no such thing there is no reference whatsoever unless if you're reading in the yellow pages that's a different issue that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam first by his own hands. And when he gave the resemblance in Surah Al-Imran, read if you wish, in mathala Isa عند الله كمثل Adam خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون. So he gave the resemblance of Isa to Adam, to Abu al-Bashar, the father of all human beings. In the hadith which is stated by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, hadith of shafa'a, the long hadith, people will rise up and they will be in a very frightening situation in a day which will be its length, 50,000 years, the day of resurrection. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said people will go to Adam. Why? Because he is Abu al-Bashar. Ya Adam, anta Abu al-Bashar. Khalaqaka Allahu biyadayh. You are the father of humanity. The father of humanity means what? He's a very first human being. And from him he created Adam. Uh, these uh, false theories that Adam was created and when he created he saw Muhammad or saw the nur of Muhammad and Adam is created actually from the nur of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa this had, That's a different religion. This is not Islam. And you will find people out of extreme love they fabricate things and in front of every fabrication or innovation you find people abandoning sunnah or distancing themselves from the right belief. The same people who exaggerate and cross all the boundaries 
with regards to the right belief concerning Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you find them have corrupt aqeedah. You find them that they believe that the Prophet Sallallahu is still alive. He doesn't die. And he is not just still alive. They believe, according to their fourth, false belief, that whenever he can appear anywhere, every time somebody says his name, the Prophet Sallallahu would rise up and will be with them. So they came with the theory way before cloning. So if somebody is mentioning his name in Pakistan, another in America, the Prophet ﷺ will be everywhere. This is entirely false. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the Prophet ﷺ, إِنَّكَ مَيِّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ Certainly you will die and your opponents too will die. 